stuffy or whatever but disregard disregard um i'm gonna be showing y'all what i'm packing in my hospital bag and in baby's hospital bag so that we can get induced tomorrow yes tomorrow um so yeah basically i'm so excited um i'm gonna take everything out of my bag and show y'all this is what my bag looks like And I'm giving you very much bump because this might be like the last video y'all get to see him in this form. If you hear anything in the background, that's Keon in the shower singing. So I hope y'all do hear him because I'm not tuning it out. But yeah, while well, she's gonna come here all loud, he don't even know I'm making the video. I have this Dr. Hills. Um, melatonin freaking body wash or whatever because i feel like it'll help me relax it's a familiar scent something that i would enjoy you know showering with while i'm away at the hospital because i'm going to be going for at least like three nights so i have some cute little slippers to wear my journal because i love writing in my journal and I just feel like it'll give me something to do especially the first night when i'm really like just waiting so yeah that i have some old granny diapers because i don't know how much i'm gonna be bleeding but i know that these might be much better than wearing a pad and then i could put some panties on top of it so that i can feel secure that's the plan anyway i don't know if i'm gonna actually use these and I know they're going to supply me with stuff at the hospital too. So, just the option. Oh, I got my nursing pillow. It don't have a cover on it. But I think I'm going to bring it anyway. Because it might be nice to have or whatever. So, I have some utensils for my journal right there my moisturizer and my face wash if you haven't seen my skincare videos y'all know these are my go-to's so yeah that's that i have another pencil in here in case my pencil breaks because i don't have a pencil sharpener you feel me like back up my deodorant and then I have bras. I have some more bras. I don't know how many bras I'm gonna need. Like I just been overpacking. I'm pretty sure I'm overpacking, but I'd rather be overpacked than underpacked. Then I have some underwear. And I know I have some more underwear in here. These are Victoria's Secret, but these are like my most comfortable underwear right now. So I don't really care. Like underwear can be rebought. So I don't really care if they get messed up. I just care more so about being comfortable another bra more underwear more underwear like i know i don't need that much underwear but who gonna lie me got some fluffy socks and i was thinking about wearing these with my shirt that i wore for the baby shower to the hospital but i don't know it might be raining so i think i'm gonna take these shorts out and just wear the uh, this shirt with this jacket and then with like some tights or something so i'm gonna leave that over there so that i can reconsider because it's supposed to be raining tomorrow and it's supposed to have a cold front coming through so i need to dress some warm so then i have this pajama dress it's just like a nightgown or whatever 
I have another pajama set. And this one is just like a cute little shirt with some shorts. So I can be comfortable. And I also have my robe over there that I need to pack. But I'm probably going to wear it again before I leave tomorrow night. So I haven't packed it yet. And I'm going to take these underwear out because these are not on my list of most comfortable. And I already have four that are. So that's it, right? Uh, I also have what's on the side of here. This, um, this is my, what's it called? Is it Dr. Tills? No, it's not Dr. Tills. Dr. Bronner's um, Castile soap that I'm diluted with my water and it's in like a foaming pump. I like to use this down below. I use it all over my body too because it smells good. So this is just another option for me to have a body wash and a little feminine wash just to freshen up. So I'm about to throw everything back in the bag. before you got off. Because I be embarrassed. Making my video. Cause I'm shy. Yeah. So I don't need those things. So? Like I'm just trying to sing you. I sing around you all the time. Okay. Um so But you're recording the course so I can't put the video on, huh? Yeah, I'm almost done. That's really why I was trying to hurry up. I gotta go to the store anyway, though, right? Because I forgot I ain't got one. Okay. That's why I was in there. You probably heard me. I don't know if you heard me. No, I told them he was singing, though, and I was like, I'm not blocking it out. So I hope y'all hear him. Hear the chum. We're going to make you famous. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Period. No, man. Not that way. I don't want to be famous. I just want some money. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to you. Oh, I'm sorry. You are still recording, yeah. huh? Hey, boom, boom, boom. Hey, <laughs> <you're> on, <man. laughs> so this is my backpack that matched my little bag. This is the backpack I really carry every day. So I have my ID and my medical cards and stuff in here. So of course I'm bringing that. And plus it's cute. It's like my mommy stuff, you know? Like my mommy suitcase with my mommy backpack. Like, period. Get into it. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Now I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all what's in baby boy's bag. I'm really most excited to show y'all what's in his bag, cause I know I packed a lot of unnecessary shit, but I was just so excited to pack his bag. Like I was too excited. So, so I really don't care. I packed a bunch of unnecessary stuff. But I'm going to go through compartment by compartment to show y'all everything that's in here. Because this backpack really lit. I don't know where mom ordered it from, but it's Nike. So, it's probably on the Nike website. And, yeah. <laughs> okay so they have this back compartment that's like furthest to the back and it's so much space in this backpack like literally i can fit a bunch of stuff in here but i haven't put anything in this part yet so yeah this back part is empty just know you can fit some more stuff in here period like period like period <laughs> And then they have this little zipper right here. And that's where I have his mittens, his socks, and his hats. Because it is November and it is getting cold. So I need to make sure my baby is warm. So he has three different color matching sets to go with his outfits.
Now in this next compartment right here, that's why I have his two warmest blankets because like I said, it's really cold. I want to make sure, I mean, it's getting cold. I want to make sure that he's really warm and protected. I don't want him catching the sniffles if he can avoid it. So yeah, and as you can see, there's a lot of space in this backpack, like a lot of space. So in this zipper right here, that's why I have his outfits. I packed two, I think, three. Cause my mom was like, pack the third one, like three. Cause I was like, I don't think I'm gonna only pack two. And she was like, no, just pack the other one. So these outfits all came from his T-Man. If you don't know who his T-Man is, that's his nanny. That's his auntie also. So that's my sister, period. This is really cute. They're all Calvin Klein. So he has this one and I packed the little blue socks. Yes. You could keep them in here for tomorrow if you need to. Okay. But um I'm I'm paying the sheriff. I just got the I just put the towels in the dryer. Okay. You want to see you right here? Yeah. You need help with your name? No, I'm making my what's in my hospital bag video. Oh, okay then. So Oh, I see you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Well, that's fine. I just put those in the dryer. I'm going to the bathroom. Go lay down. Alright. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. So, yeah, that was his grandmother. She's washing um, the rest of our clothes and stuff. But, yeah, that was the first outfit. Calvin Klein. Second outfit is this one. So that's why I picked the blue and white socks and hats and stuff because it'll go with these and then I picked the black set to go with this or he could wear the white too. This little cute um, onesie, long sleeve onesie and that's, you know, I, you see I packed all long sleeve stuff because like I said, it's getting cold and this one doesn't have the footy so it most definitely he would need some socks. But y'all see how the little pants have, have the matching um color like T Man did that period. Baby gonna be fresh. So yeah. That's his outfit. So I'm gonna put them back in here. I don't know which one I want him to come home in yet. So I just packed three different ones that I like a lot. I mean, there's a lot more outfits that he has that I liked a lot, so it was really hard to choose. But yeah, um, I have some pacifier and bottle wipes in here. These actually came from my grandmother off the registry. I have a lot more packs in that. If you see that thing hanging on the um closet door, I have a lot more of those. A pack of wipes. I know the hospital gonna supply me with stuff like that, but just to have like what if i need to wipe his nose or his mouth or something like yeah and then his pacifier um dripper thingies to pin on his little onesie so that he won't lose it that's all that i have in this huge compartment so, Just a little couple of things that I probably won't need, but I was too excited not to pack. Home brush, little diaper rash cream, and his pacifiers. I put them in a plastic bag because I boiled them and I didn't want them to get germs on them. So, yeah, that's all that's in there. I know that after I actually bring him home and actually get a gist of what it's like to be a mom, that. I'm gonna probably have a lot of more different stuff in here. But I just want to be extra and have his little bag together. 
as I saw fit for now. And then let's see here. In here, you have two more little receiving blankets just for, you know, burping and whatever. Because the hospital says to bring a few different blankets. So. What else? Oh, yeah. I also put his um little body wash and his baby lotion. These are plant-based and they smell really good. This one in particular is made with jojoba oil or well, not it just says jojoba aloe calendula avocado and cucumber cucumber like girl <laughs> and cucumber extracts and um it's a shampoo and a body wash this is the lotion and my mom brought to my attention that doctors pretty much use what they're in contract to use like for the baby so they probably won't be down to use the products i want them to use just in case of any allergic reactions or whatever they don't want to be held responsible so i just bought this just in case i might still try to ask like can you wash them with this instead of johnson johnson but if they say no then it is what it is like i'm not gonna fight them with it i just know once he leave out of here period he not gonna get washed with no johnson johnson period so yeah that's really it i think this video wasn't that long i thought it would be longer but i guess i did zoom through everything oh i know what else i need to pack so i need to find my headphones so i can pack my headphones i need to pack my vitamins i have these and then I also take this Integra for my iron and I take vitamin D and so after I take these tomorrow I need to make sure I put them in my bag and um, my toothbrush so my vitamins my headphones and my toothbrush are the last things on my list to pack girl I'm not doing no makeup or none of that I'm not worried about my hair I actually did my hair before I knew I was getting induced so I was so happy because you know when you don't have to do your hair it's more fun and then when it's time to like really do your hair at the last minute you be dreading it so was happy that I went and got my hair out the way so yeah the last thing I need to do is find my headphones make sure I pack my toothbrush and my vitamins tomorrow and find me some tights some cute little tights to go with my little outfit that I went to the hospital and make sure I also put my robe in my bag tomorrow. So yeah, I'm excited. And that's pretty much it. I'm getting into this tomorrow at 7 p.m. Yeah. So the next video you see will probably be the labor vlog. I'm so excited. I guess that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much. If you watched to this point in the video, you a real one. Period. If you're not subscribed. Period. <laughs> but yeah, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you give it a like. Make sure you tune in to the next video. And the next video. And the next video. And the last video. And the last video. And the last video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.